members of our association are empowered by their interaction and networking with a wide range of public sector lawyers across the province. We must also emphasize that our members subscribe to a more rigorous code of conduct and ethics than that generally applicable to public servants in terms of the code of conduct for public servants as set out in the Public Service Act. Members of our association are, in addition, subject to a strict and laudable code of ethics in terms of the constitution of our association, which is justiciable for purposes of disciplinary action against members of our association. We as members of CAPSUL have voluntarily bound ourselves to live up to, the, to a higher standard of conduct and ethics in the public sector. As public sector lawyers, we must firstly and always serve and uphold the values and principles of, the cons of constitutionalism and the rule of law in providing professional, non-partisan legal services and legal advice to government. Our vision is to ensure that lawyers uh, working in the public sector and their employers recognize that public sector lawyers are firstly lawyers and only secondarily public sector employees. This means that our role and responsibilities as, lawyer, as lawyers precede our role and responsibilities as public sector employees. We must ensure that we understand and apply these principles and we must endeavor to make our employers and those we report to in the scope of our employment in the public sector understand and respect this. We have a duty to advise in accordance with the law our ethical standards and our conscience. Even if such advice proves to be unpopular, we must always remember our first responsibility as lawyers and never resort to attempting to excuse any unconstitutional or unlawful action by saying that as public servants, we're merely following orders or instructions from our employers or those we report to. In pursuance of our vision, we have chosen as our patron, the former judge president of KwaZulu-Natal, the Honourable Mr. Vuka Shabalala, someone whom we respect, one from whom we take our cue, and whom we wish to emulate in fulfilling our role and responsibilities as lawyers. Lawyers who have the pleasure of working in the public sector, thereby serving the people of our country. We have also elected a number of honorary members. These are persons who have subscribed to what we stand for and who have been supportive or instrumental in the formation of our association. We are confident that our patron and our honorary members will continue supporting and inspiring us to fulfill our role. The list of honorary members is not closed and more will be added as we identify suitable persons who may wish to align themselves to our association and what we stand for. Perhaps some explanation of the symbolism attached to the logo of our association is necessary. The general circular theme symbolizes perfection, completeness and a timeless cyclical progression. The outer circle in gold represents purity and something of high value, that which has to be attained at all costs. The outer circle contains the name of our association at the top, being the KwaZulu-Natal Association of Public Sector Lawyers. The letters K, A, P, S and L are emboldened forming the letters capsule, the acronym of our association. The motto in Isizulu, Umtertu, Ungapezu Kwagu Konke, meaning the law reigns supreme in English and the Opergesag van die Reich in Afrikaans, and therefore conveying the concept of the rule of law appears at the bottom of the outer circle. The name of our association and the motto are spelled out in black, solid and unshakable. The inner circle is sectioned into three portions. The left portion of the inner circle depicts cross golden quills against a white background. This represents the, the tools of trade of lawyers, quills or pens, used in formulating and drafting the words which will ultimately form the laws, contracts and legal opinions that are drafted by the public sector lawyers. The background is white, representing, as it were, a clean slate on which, the, on which the lawyers must place the words which will form the laws reflecting the policy of, of government of the day. The contract government enters into and the independent non-partisan legal opinion submitted to government for consideration, but always in accordance with the principles of constitutionalism and the rule of law as reflected in the motto.